And next up, we have a more comprehensive look at that 2021 S Class, which I showed you a little while ago. Car and driver, they went inside now. They checked out all the technology in there, and it's actually pretty impressive, man. It's all kinds of cool stuff. You have the giant display, which has now been turned into portrait mode, and almost all the buttons are gone. For better, for worse, whatever you wanted, oh. it's in the display now. Oh, and yeah, that's very cool. It, the way and, that the screen merges onto the side panel here. It's all one giant unit, and apparently it's very responsive. They upgraded the processing. They made it so that it can tell which driver is in the driver's seat using facial recognition or biometrics through a fingerprint scan. And it will then, of course, engage all of your settings. If you share the car with somebody else, it knows who you are. The display behind the steering wheel is actually 3D. You can toggle it off, but apparently it has some kind of crazy 3D functionality. The lighting is crazy as well around the entire... There's a section in this video where he turns the the heat on on the passenger side and that led light that's just above the display goes red oh. to indicate that that side of the car is heating huh. there's cool. speakers inside the headrest will so you can hear turn by turn navigation that doesn't disturb the other passengers in the car mm -hmm. you know how it can be loud you're listening to music or a podcast and turn left now and everybody yeah. in the car geez man killing the vibe over here yeah well, this one, it just pumps the sound in from the headrest, so only the driver needs to hear that turn-by-turn -turn navigation. So tremendous number of luxury features in here, which is what you would come to expect with the S-Class, and they've gone ahead and modernized it. And I think it needed an update as well to meet with the times, you know? Mm -hmm. And so it's a lot of cool features and functions. You can go check it out for yourself. Of course, it's got all the things, the wireless charging and... Everything is touchscreen now. It's a 12.8 inch OLED infotainment touchscreen closer to the driver. It's a whole new, what they call MBUX infotainment system to make selecting features quicker. It's, uh, it's a lot of OLED in there, I'll tell you what. So I'm pretty, I think it's pretty cool. You know that if you scroll down, Will, yeah, the, actually that's another thing I should mention, the the holographic display. yeah what do they call it augmented reality no heads up the heads up display i love the way you see the way the arrow oh yeah does that yeah. when you go around these uh you know complicated bends and whatnot to, to help you know which way the nav is really telling you you have to go or when you have to turn it's really advanced man mm. that's some pretty cool stuff now also if you scroll down to the next one the 360 camera which i think maybe you have to go a little further down Am I crazy? How far down am I here? Where's the 360? Oh, you went past it. It's up up a little bit more. The 360 camera one. Yeah, look at this. To see the car in space when you're trying to park or something? Yeah. That's incredible. It was so detailed. It's all stitched up. And I've seen versions of this, obviously, on other cars. But this one, I mean, it's very detailed. And it's stitched together very well, as you mentioned. So you're not going to crash or dent your S-Class after you spend way too much money on it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool.